If you're facing the misrepresentation error, the chance is quite high that you already invested a lot of time and energy trying to find different ways how to unblock your Merchant Center account from this suspension. In this video, I'm going to explain you five things how you most likely waste your time working on things to solve the suspension in your Merchant Center account while Google doesn't even take these things in consideration when unblocking your account or reviewing it. My name is Robin and I've been active in the e-commerce industry since early 2019 where I also run a Google Ads agency and I help people successfully solve the Merchant Center misrepresentation error in their account. We already did more than 300 successful projects before I even made a single video on YouTube about this topic. It happens quite a lot that people reach out to me for Merchant Center help. Sometimes they spend weeks or even months trying to find different solutions which are not successful yet, leading to a lot of missed opportunities because they are simply not live on Google Ads. Every day that they are not live on Google Ads is actually a huge opportunity of missed profit from their e-commerce store. So without further ado, let's dive right into the five topics that you most likely invest your time in right now, but doesn't even matter for Google. And reason number four would especially surprise you. Statement number one is actually that you need a certain amount of products in your Merchant Center account to be unblocked which is totally false. It doesn't matter for Google if you just have only one product or you have 10,000 products in your account, the Merchant Center can even handle up to 150,000 different variations of your account. So it doesn't even matter if you have one product or 150,000 SKUs in your account because this number is not in consideration of Google when they try to look for the misrepresentation error, what is wrong and how you could potentially fix it. So don't look at the numbers there because they are not leading to unsuspending your account in any kind of way. And also it makes no sense that you do during the review just a selected amount of products and then you make them active after the review is done and your Merchant Center account is successfully unblocked because it matters more how you add these products to your website than how many of them are in your account actually. So this is the first common belief that people spend a lot of time in what doesn't even matter in the eyes of Google Merchant Center employees. Statement number two is also an interesting one. Some people think that they can unblock their Merchant Center by switching to a different Shopify team, for example, and then switch back after the review is actually done. This is totally false because the Merchant Center is actually scanning your account on a daily basis with all the criteria they had in the first place. So if you're going to switch your Shopify template to a default and a simple one and you're going to switch it back after you successfully unlocked your account, you're totally waste your time because the next day you can wake up with a suspension again in your Merchant Center account. Every 24 hours they are going to scan your account with the same criteria. So it doesn't matter that you change something in the beginning if it's not successful afterwards when you change it back. So don't waste your time in something like this and don't let be fooled by other information about this kind of topics. You need to have a good website right from the get-go which can be reviewed, unblocked and you can go live on Google Ads afterwards if you successfully unblocked it. Oh and by the way, if you like this video make sure to subscribe on my channel and put a thumbs up for this video because this is my first hand experience of successful unblocking merchant centers before yours. Without further ado, let's continue with statement number three. Changing the application that sent the information from Shopify to Merchant Center. It basically doesn't make sense which application you use. You have several popular ones that are proven to work, which is the free one Google and YouTube application in the Shopify marketplace. You have apps like Simprosis and Multifeed and basically they all have the same purpose. They send information from Shopify to Google Merchant Center with all the specifications about your products such as titles, description, colors, pricing and so on. So it basically doesn't make sense to change this application because all applications have the same purpose of sending information from Shopify to Merchant Center. So also when it comes to the Merchant Center misrepresentation error, there is not any difference in any of the applications that have the same purpose of sending the information from Shopify to Merchant Center. So stop looking at alternative options right here because you might be wasting your time here. Statement number four was actually my favorite one because it's an excuse that many people use nowadays when it comes down to their Merchant Center. 
Oh, I'm dropshipping. That's the reason why Google is actually not approving my Merchant Center to go live on Google Ads. This is a complete false statement. I have a Google Ads agency with more than 50 uh, Google Ads clients live right now. And actually 60% of them are doing dropshipping and the other of them doing branding. So it's a totally false statement that you are dropshipping and therefore not be approved in the Merchant Center. The Merchant Center is checking the quality of your website on a daily basis, as I just explained. And basically they also don't know how you handle your backend. So even though if you have physical stock or you don't have any physical stock, they don't know how you handle the back end. So basically, it doesn't matter if you're drop shipping. It matters more what kind of criteria visitors from Google can expect on your website, such as the shipping and the return policies, for example. So it doesn't matter if you ship directly from China or directly from your own stock, because Google is scanning the, your website with the same criteria as they do for all websites. So don't spend any time and thinking that this topic number four, drop shipping, is the issue for your misrepresentation error in your account and last but not least statement number five you might be wondering if you are blacklisted because you applied already for a review several times and you are still not unblocked even though all the time and energy that you invested in unblocking your merchant center is not successful and therefore you make the conclusion that merchant centers actually banning you with your account this is actually a false statement as well it is true that after several reviews you face a cooldown period and this cooldown period you are not able to do any review first of all it start most of the time with a week after two or three reviews and then two weeks and then even longer but simply that doesn't mean that you're blacklisted it simply means that your website is not approved to the criteria that google merchant center applies on your website and therefore you're simply not ready to run any google ads yet therefore it's super important to fix your website according to the newest google merchant center policies and quality inspections to be unblocked and launch your website profitable on google ads so now that we covered all five of the topics that you might spend your time right now and are not successfully with unlocking your merchant center you know the topics that you don't need to spend time or invest energy into trying to find different solutions in this case to help you get started with unblocking your merchant center i created a totally free checklist so you can use all the details that I mentioned there, which are proven to work to unblock your merchant center. You can invest your time and energy more wisely, figuring out all the details and checking them on your website, which I provide in my checklist. So make sure to click the link in the description to download it for totally free and be effective in solving the merchant center misrepresentation error for your account. And if you already successfully download the checklist from the description, make sure to watch the recommendation video Video after this where I basically present this checklist and explain more things in detail to unlock your merchant center account in the most successful way and what all I learned from the 300 merchant center projects what I did before see you there